These kids say they've been touched by someone with a disability. So the students from ESOMS, the Engineering Science University Magnet School, recently entered what's called the Samsung National Solve for Tomorrow Contest. Melissa Manzione is their technology teacher. We've been named best in state, and so we've been guaranteed $20,000 in technology from Samsung. I prepare my students to be curious learners and 21st century problem solvers through my curriculum design. All of our high school students participate in the Connecticut Expo Fest as a part of their coursework, which is an annual competition where high school students work in teams to ideate, cultivate, and implement an innovative product or solution to a given challenge. By breaking down the skills and embedding them into every project in all of my courses, I can assess using rubrics that delineate each skill category. Students receive ongoing feedback to guide their ideation and research process to ensure relevancy as well as feasibility considering current and upcoming technologies. If a visitor entered my classroom, they might find it noisy. However, I would deem it constructive chatter. My classes are run like a business, where students join a team and are responsible for performing within their team working towards a company goal. The amazing element in my program is that it empowers students from all walks of life to actively participate in projects. There is a shift in our pedagogy as the role of the teacher has changed from a didactic style to a facilitator model. Thus, effective integration of digital content occurs when students are using technology daily and have access to a variety of tools aligned to specific tasks to build a deeper understanding of content. I do everything possible to ensure successful technology by writing grants to acquire the most recent available technology for all of my students. By weaving PBS Learning Media content into my class sessions, my students have shown they are more apt to comprehend the basics and are better able to tackle the newer material. In Your Health Tonight, an app for the disabled created by some New Haven students. Their design has already won their school $20,000 in technology and there could be more to come.